Right then, how are we all doing? So, the Mavic 3, the DJI Mavic 3, has attained or achieved the world's first Yasa C1 certification. Now, that's really interesting because there's a couple of bits here. It was by, I don't know how to pronounce it, TUV, TUV, TUV Rhineland, a world respected test certification body. Now, what was interesting is they, the DJI basically did a firmware update which reduced, reduced the noise of the aircraft and brought in some speed limits and said to them, go test this. And the company, obviously, they looked at it, uh, made sure that it was meeting all the requirements set up by Yasa, and they went, yes, it meets the requirements. But wait a second, does it? I've not seen on a Mavic 3 a C1 rating anywhere that cannot be removed in any way, shape or form. So it's got no kind of sticker on it or any kind of mark on the frame that's a C1 and you cannot remove or change or modify that sticker, that mark at all. That is actually missing off it. So did it really get the YASA certification? But what does this mean for the UK? That's the kicker. So. We've then got a company that says, yes, it's good enough. And then it comes to the UK and people are getting really excited going, we're going to get a UK marking because obviously we can't use the C ratings because we're up our own arse to a degree. So we're going to use the UK marking. But then where do we send it to get tested? Because RCA says, ah, we'll put the consultation out. We'll look to see if we can delay the UK markings because Yasa have already done this. Yasa already said, we're going to delay the C ratings. The UK did its consultation and then a lot of people said, oh, please delay it. I said, no, don't delay it. Just get on with it because the aircraft will appear. Wait, holy, holy crap. Was I, was I almost right? Someone brought out C1 rated aircraft? Holy smokes. You see, you don't have to wait. The aircraft's going to appear. The problem we've got is there's no body here. There's no company here to do the testing. That's right, in the UK, you can't send the drone off to get it tested at the minute. Um, there is a UK version uh, in company house of this company, so maybe it could go there, maybe it's connected enough, maybe it exists enough and it can go and, and be done. Which is, you know, it's interesting. It really is. Um, but RCA also said we will not allow any aircraft to be retrospectively UK marked up and the answer said we won't allow retrospectively any C marked aircraft to be any aircraft to be C marked up. So hang on a minute. Is the Mavic 3 or isn't it? Well in the UK it's not, that's for sure. Right now, UK it's not C rated, UK marked. Will it happen? There's gonna to have to put some sort of label on it that says it's C rated. So would I rush out to buy a Mavic 3 right now? No. I would wait until the ones appear that have got that C marking on them. Because when that C marking appears, that's the one you really want. The ones that haven't, I'm not so sure I want one yet. Don't get me wrong, I could be wrong. But you know, the Mavic 3 is expensive, therefore you've got to get it right. Um, so it's going to be interesting. I think it, it's... It's going to be interesting. There's a double-edged sword here. Um, are we going to get it? Are we not going to get it? We don't know. I, like I say, would not rush out to buy a Mavic 3 right now. Just because Yasa has, you know, it's passed the Yasa C1 market. For now, don't rush out and buy one. Is my advice. Wait and see. It's the only thing that sensible people would do. Um, I'm going to do a video on the C1 aircraft versus someone that holds a PDRA. So you can look at what differences there are as well, just so you understand a bit on the rules on those two as well. That'll probably be out in a bit. Just, just to give you an idea why you might not want to ditch your PDRA 01 just yet. If you think a Mavic 3 C1 is going to be the best thing since sliced bread, maybe it's not. Maybe there's something going on there where you might just want to go, hang on a minute, I need to keep flying 
certain aircraft. Right, that's it. Take care, everyone. Have a good one. Cheers.